By watching this video, you acknowledge and agree that the content may contain depictions of vehicle abuse. You further agree to indemnify and hold harmless the creators of this video if you are easily triggered, if you do not agree to these terms. We advise you to immediately cease viewing the video and seek legal counsel. This is a legal disclaimer. Viewer discretion is advised. In this video, my truck spits at me. <coughs> a Citroen Picasso tries to choke me. <laughs> and I think I'm a can. <sighs> and here we begin a new week in the Scania. Uh, it's quite a short week actually because it is the Tuesday after the bank holiday, Monday bank holiday, long weekend thingy. So I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Happy Easter and hope you all got up to lots of shenanigans and family time and not too much drinking hopefully. <laughs> uh, today we are on Locals because I was late back Thursday last week so that's kind of rolled over to this morning I had to get unloaded so uh, a late start we're on locals won't be too bad heading to our first one in New Milton and I shall get to it for you in a bit here we have car number one it's a 2006 Renault Clio on 79,000 miles I think it was but it's had an unfortunate scuff I think we can call it a scuff yeah, that's definitely a scuff, isn't it? A bit of tea cut, she'll buff out. Yeah, apart from that, nice tidy car. Starts, runs and drives, thankfully. It's the first of the day, so I'm going to reverse it over the top of the deck. And how many miles have they got? Oh, yeah, you know, 76. 76,000 miles, so get the truck set up and get it up there. There we go, car number one of the week, locked and loaded. Gonna make our way over to our next one now, which is, I think, a couple in Southampton, uh, and then over to Andover. So here is another unfortunate victim. This one has actually taken quite a battering. Poor thing, 2001 Toyota Celica. And uh, they say what happened was, as there was a link that broke on the back wheel you can see it's a, a skew whiffed angle and that made him go into the barrier well, I actually went under the barrier and uh, broke the barrier off but you can see it's, it's, a, it's gone up it's taken pretty much everything with it uh, 154,000 miles I believe there we go yeah 154 so Get the chains on, winch it up. There she is, locked, loaded, ready to head back to the yard, stripped down and made into baked bean cans. On to number three. 
Okay, half past four. Just picked our last one up in Salisbury. About an hour back to the yard now. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at what we got. So we picked up a Volvo. We have picked up a 12 plate uh, Corsa. We've picked up a 15 plate Transit Connect with the uh, cam belt snap. And our last car, we're gonna put on the back, but there's not enough room. We've got a 2001 Mazda 323. So yeah, gonna get this little lot back to the yard, get unloaded and uh, piled up and go home before I get even wetter. Morning, welcome to Tuesday, no, Wednesday. <laughs> I keep forgetting that bangle on Monday. It is Wednesday today. It is 5 a.m. We are heading to Bristol. Two and a half hour drive till we get to our first collection, which is I can't remember. Uh, we've I, What I do remember is we've got a big load today. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to get them on or even if they're all going to fit, but we're going to give it our best shot. And uh, coffee machine is very almost finished percolating now, so we're going to get that cup filled up and head on out. Okay, so we have our first car loaded. Uh, 2010 Cash Guy. It has suffered a starter motor issue, so it now quoted a ridiculous amount to uh, rectify it. So decided it's time to say goodbye. So I've got this one up over the front. I don't normally put an SUV stroke people carrier up over the top of the cab, but we're going to have three of them uh, up on the top today. Hopefully, if we can fit them. Our next one. Uh, luckily it drove because I wasn't going to get under that 9 foot 9 bridge. Uh, but here we have a Citroen Picasso C4. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one's coming with us because she's a bit schmucky. Actually stinks of uh, burning oil but she is very smoky indeed. There we go. <laughs> and uh, you know, if you've not been very well looked after this one, I think uh, it's definitely been uh, a family kiddie carrier. <laughs> it's uh, door pockets full up of sweets and crisps and gosh, oh, she's still smoking. <laughs> right, let's get this one loaded. Cause a bit of a smoke screen. We didn't have enough power to get all the way up there, so gonna uh, put the ramp up and see if we can get a bit closer. There we go, she's all loaded up. I try and get her as tight as I could up to the uh, cash guy. Because I've got one of those Fiesta C Max things to go on the back. And uh, it's going to be tight, so. Yeah. And uh, I'm getting a lot of people asking me what is the most scrap vehicle that I pick up every week. Uh, so I'm going to tally it all up and I'm going to give you uh, which most common vehicles are scrap that I pick up. Uh, we'll leave that at the end of the video and also I'm going to show you a treasure hunt of everything that I picked up and I've scavenged out of cars so uh, I'll show you that so that'll be the end of the video I'll do a big round up of uh, the vehicles and the treasures that we got so we have picked up our Ford Focus C-Max thing it literally just squeezed on and uh, we've driven another half an hour now over to Cabot Park um, we are heading into BCA, British Car Auctions, to pick up a Volkswagen Passat. 
I don't know why we're picking up a car from BCA, but I'm sure all will be revealed shortly. Hello buddy, you alright? Alright mate. Here to collect the car. Well, you're in the right place for that then. I hope so. Well, that's not <laughs> have you got a BK number? No. What have you got? I've got nothing. I've got a registration of the vehicle that I'm picking up. Yeah. Kilo Foxtrot Zulu. Do you have like a record? No, I've got a time slot between 10 and 11. So you're probably going to be in there then. It's a scrapped vehicle. Is it? Is it a runner or a non-runner? Uh, I've got non-runner here, but who knows. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's your Uh Bravo Juliet 19. Yep. Sierra Bravo X-Ray. What's the company? Is it Charles Trump? Yeah. And you've got three vehicles on one. Right? I have indeed. Yeah. Where do you want me to park? They change it all the time. Pump? Where do you want me to park? Park in any one of the bays, aside from one or two if you could. Okay, yeah, no worries. Um, it doesn't really matter. Well, it's up to you. Alright, no worries. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Wow. What's your BK number? <laughs> <laughs> There's certainly a lot of cars and there's a lot of car transporters. So they would probably want me to reverse park. I was going to forward park. I should probably not forward park. to the uh, reception and see if we can find out a Vecchia car. Right, we finally loaded our Passat in BCA. We got here at quarter past 10, it's now half past 11, so it took them a while to find the car because you know what they're like in these places. They're, when they ask me for a BK number, I'm not, I'm not got a BK number, I'm just picking up a scrap car. Like, I don't know, apparently it was in click, click, click and collect and then I, they had to go and get it for me and then I had to bring it over to where the transporter is to load it. And, uh, and now they've got to do a radio check to make sure I'm going out with the right car and not with any extras. I don't know. Anyway, I'll put the coffee percolator on to cheer me up. That is smelling wonderful. And we're going to head down to our next one, which is Brad and Aiden for a, a Clio. Um, but that does mean that I've got to unload for Sat to get the Clio on because the Sat's on the kick deck. And uh, the kick deck won't go up with the Sat on it, it's a little too large. We've had to do it this way around because they're all big ones in Bristol. Hey there, buddy, you alright? Yeah, Can I leave now? Yeah, uh, how many is. One car, that one, the Passat. So, can you go quick? Yeah. Okay. Is it a one? Yeah, just, just the Passat. for a walk around the yard and make sure there's nothing hidden behind the facade. You don't have any paperwork? No, I only have the V5 for the car. And the guy said you got to do a radio check or something with them to make sure that it's... I don't want to tell them how to do the job right here. The black one, or the, or the last one? Uh, no, just the, one. just the one underneath. The silver one? Just the one underneath, the Volkswagen Passat. Black one. Yeah. It's not going to be one on the top deck, is it?
<sighs> I hate coming to these big places. It reminds me of RDCs and everything where everything just takes so long. Five hours later. All right, all good. Next time, we're gonna go in quickly. Ask them for Ah, right, okay. Yeah. And then, let's see the way I get the Perfect. Thank you very much. For a hack, then go with three. Off you go, buddy. Okay. Taking us an hour to get over to our next one now. Once we uh, get out of here, because the uh, looking like the traffic could be a nightmare. So, uh, yeah, I'll get on over there and uh, I shall speak to you in a bit. So this is number five of the day. It is a 23-year-old Renault Clio, which is surprisingly clean. I don't see many of this age about anymore. 85,000 miles. Fell in semi in September on bushes and bits and pieces. Nothing, I'd say, too major. Coolant leak uh, in a steering arm, that sort of stuff. But yeah, shame really, because it's, uh, it's a clean one. Anyway, uh, this is the Passat that we picked up from BCA. We've got to unload that, do a switcheroo so that we can get the uh, Clio on the kicker deck, get that up and then get this underneath. All right, let's get cracking. There we go, switcheroo is complete. Passat and Clio are now loaded up. Uh, I've got a Peugeot to go on there. I'm not sure we're going to have enough room. Because if I have the ramp out to accommodate the front wheels of the Peugeot, then I'm not going to be able to get the van on the spec. Uh, I'm running at 16 foot on the Picasso at the moment, so we've still got a little bit of wiggle room to go higher, which means I could go a little bit higher with the Clio and put the Passat underneath a little bit more. But there's not a lot we can do. We've got some big old beasts on here today. There we go, we've got them on there. We've got the Clio, we've got the Passat, we've got the Peugeot on the back, and we've got the Renault traffic. It's tight. I, I'm pretty sure we couldn't possibly fit anything else of even an inch bigger on there. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's... I don't think I've had that many big vehicles on, on but yeah, it's good, good old load, that. Good old load. Many people ask why we put the uh, the car on the kicker deck backwards so we can get it higher up onto the uh, up against the top deck. A lot of people ask why we put this one on backwards as well, and that's because obviously if I put it on the other way around, the roof's going to hit the top deck, so I couldn't get it as high, which means I wouldn't be able to get that one under there. Um, so yeah, there we go. Anyway, the wind and the rain is hitting hard now. This is going to be a savage drive back. I think we're about 16.4, so yeah, we're pretty high. It's gale force winds and uh, yeah, gonna have some fun. That is me finished, five o'clock, I am going home. Uh, not got an early start tomorrow, we're on locals. So uh, I think we've got six or seven to collect locally and then we've got three to deliver. So I'll see you on the morrow, Thursday. Yes, Thursday tomorrow. Well, we've had a little bit of a late start for a Thursday. It is now, well, we got in at six o'clock. It's now 8.45. 
We've had uh, some repairs done to the truck. I had a tail light which has been playing up uh, for a couple of days, so they're coming and change the unit because it's an LED unit. And uh, we've got Nigel out there. He's still he's still working away because <laughs> the um, the stop lamp stopped working now. So uh, they've traced that back to a, a wire. Uh, hopefully we'll be back out on the road again soon, but bit of a late start probably going to result in a late finish but it's what we do all good fun at least the sun's shining that's the main thing okay right finally we are sorted chasing faults around the truck every time we replaced one bulb another the headlight bulb went like how and then a marker light every time we fix one light another light went anyway it is half past nine now we're finally getting out of the yard I'd have liked to have been out of the yard at seven o'clock, but hey ho, beggars can't be choosers. We're going to crack on. Sun's still shining. Coffee's been made, and uh, yeah, going to make our way over to our. But luckily, our first one's about 45 minutes away, so not too bad. I think it's a uh, C4. We're going to put it up over the top of the cab. Another Picasso to add to the list. <laughs> okay, first car of the day. Citroen C4 Picasso. VTR. 2008 diesel this one's not in as bad condition as yesterday's but we've got any miles we have uh, 147,000 miles all right get this one loaded up over the cab Okay, we've just arrived at number three. We've got number two there, the Audi Avan A4 Estate. Uh, diesel, that's start and drive on there. Uh, and this is car number three, which is a 2013 Kia Seed. Five door. Uh, it doesn't look like it's actually got a lot of issues with it. It's, it's very dirty. It's got a bit of tape holding the front bumper on. And... Have a little look inside. Uh -huh. oh, a bit of a grubby interior, but it's not too bad. It's on 146,000 miles, and there is a battery light on, so I assume that he's taking this into the dealer because this is a Kia dealer. And they've probably quoted him a price for an alternator and several other bits and pieces. It's been ridiculous. And uh, he said, No, nah, you're right, I'll, uh, I'll buy a new one. And he's probably. Uh, <laughs> just scrap this one so yeah get it loaded on there behind the Audi ah oh, the weather's turned for the worst it's absolutely pouring down which means we might need a bit of a run up for getting up here I don't want to run up too far because there's a tow bar on that Audi and I don't want to be getting into that. Uh, back wheels are on if it holds and that's where it's staying. There we go, good enough. Right, I have no idea where we left off. I think we were in, yeah we are in Yeovil weren't we picking up that Kia Seed. Well we now have an old school Renault Espace. It's the posh one. It's the race. The race. I don't know what that means. Uh, and then we went over to Chad and we picked up the 2013 CI Ibiza with the clutch gone and dual, cla dual, dual mass clutch thingy flywheel rubbishy gone. Uh, and now we're over in Dorchester and just picked up the Insignia. So yeah, that's our day done now. We are full up. We did have another one to collect, but it's another estate car, and there's no way I was going to get because that Ibiza is an estate. There's no way I was going to get three three big cars under there. We've already got three big cars on the top, plus the Insignia estate. Just wasn't going to happen. So yeah, I cancelled a Volvo. It was a Volvo estate actually, V50 I think it was. No, V70. Uh, so I cancelled that, uh, and uh, yeah. 
We're loaded now, ready to head back to the yard. Um, King's Road in Dorchester, so it's quite busy. Try not to get run over. Yep. Uh, Righty ho. Let's head on back to the yard. So that's it, that's me unloaded, 20 minutes. And uh, this is the best time to unload for me. I, I, I do prefer coming back at this time. It's quiet, everybody's gone home. Well, everyone apart from the night shift anyway, up in the new build, because they do a, a night shift over there on the production line, or reverse production line, sorry. So the forklift driver that's going back to Ford is feeding that, that big machine and keeping that going. Um, so yeah, uh, trucks all unloaded. Um, so this is normally a really, really busy hive of activity. You've got uh, deep pollute over there where the wheels, tyres are taken off, um, the air conditions taken out, and fuel caps taken off, batteries taken off, and all that sort of stuff. And then this is all vehicles being assessed. So this is all really busy. So when you get in the middle of the day to unload, it can be a, you know, a little bit pressure on, especially if you've got queues of trucks behind you. So I just prefer this time of night. It's, it's, it's good. Oh, and the, uh, <laughs> the the Picasso, the first car we picked up this morning, um, I think, I think it, had a, it had an argument with a tree and it lost. <laughs> and many of you used to point out to me in every single video that my indicators or my, yeah, my hazards on the back, they were, they were different on each side and you a little confusion of why that was. What it was, was one was sequential, one was not, because one got replaced and they'd updated the lights and blah, blah, blah. But now, as you'll see, both lights are sequential, they match. So hopefully, I'll stop a lot of you trolling me in the comments saying that I've got odd indicators. Um, I thought we are going to have a little look around, see what's, see what's in the yard, see if there's anything about, anything of any interest. We've got some, look, there's, there's the McGann that I had in my scrap vehicle as a, of the day. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, and there's a little Astra that I had as, as scrap vehicle of the day. Sad to see that piled up, isn't it? Because that's quite a good, good condition car, that. Oh, look at this. We've got a V70 T5 in. Very nice. Oh, that would have been a beast back in the day, wouldn't it? What we got? Oh, I bet the battery's been disconnected anyway. Yeah, no mileage. Manual as well. Oh, nice. Got Saab 93. TD. Uh, I don't think there's any fans of any interest here. Nothing, uh, nothing old, old. It's all, it's all junky junk. 320i look. Oh, I was expecting that to be an accident damage one, it's not. Maybe it's got a blown engine or something, I don't know. Right, there we go, little wander around and see what's about. You're filming now as well. I am filming now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, boss? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. You're still working? You're still, still here? Working, teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork so the guys go out safe from the for the For the cause. That's it. Yeah. I've you just been... Put miserable keys away because I'm going on the door. Yeah. Uh, I've just had a walk around the yard. What for? Nothing of any interest. Nothing of any interest there's, in all these lovely cars? There's just cars, that's all there is. I'm sure there's not. <laughs> I'm sure there's something of interest. Anyway, it's time to go home. Come on. I am. I'm going to put the forklift away. Okay. There's still like, there's hundreds and hundreds of vehicles back there. And on the racks over there, let you see all the racks. <laughs> hundreds of cars. Uh, I could have got unloaded last night, but, uh, sorry, I could have unloaded in the morning, but I did check the weather forecast and it's supposed to pouring down with rain 
Uh, the last thing I want to do on Friday morning is get piss wet through unloading. So I unloaded tonight, tomorrow morning, jump in the truck and we can go. Going down to Exeter tomorrow morning, pick up a full load from a contractor. So nice easy day hopefully. Finish off the week and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. And just like that, welcome to Friday. And I'm so glad that I did unload last night because it's pouring down. Just done my vehicle checks. I've put the kettle on, so we're going to get cracking down to Exeter. So vehicle checks are done. Paperwork is done. Map, sat nav, set up. We're all good to go. We've got a two hour drive down there. Uh, pick a full load up and then drive back again. So a nice easy day. I'm going to stop for breakfast on the way because it's Friday. I like to treat myself to a bit of uh, Friday nasty breakfast <laughs> uh so yeah it should be quite uh, quite an easy day today so fly on down there get it done go away for the weekend Just pulled into the little picnic area that's uh, down at Honor, just off the A30. Um, look at that. That's my Friday treat, that is. I don't treat myself very often with food anymore because uh, I'm trying to look after myself. But I do have a breakfast on a Friday. It's my reward for being good for the rest of the week. <laughs> a little bit counterproductive, but, you know, I, you can't go teetotal, can you? Anyway, I'm going to eat this, have another cup of coffee, and carry on with our journey down to Exeter. Still raining. Happy Friday, though. All right, then, guys and girls, that's us loaded. Uh, I don't like to film in other people's or other companies' recovery yards, obviously, because of the other cars and stuff. They're not normally in a very nice state, but we have our Hyundai i40 on the top. And we have Ford KA, Another little Hyundai, uh, Fiat Punto, Vauxhall Astra. Whoa, what was that? A very badly beaten Fiat Panda. And we have a Mercedes A-Class. So there we go, we are all up and loaded. Lights are working. And we are good to go. Head on back to the yard. I've just got to level these decks out a little bit because they're still not quite as I want them. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, I think we've got a hydraulic leak. Oh, yeah. Wow, got a hole in the pipe. So yeah, as you can see, we've got some pipe making contact here. And just there, we have a hole. Well, I'm gonna have to get that fixed when we go back to the yard. Luckily, everything's pretty much where I needed it to be. I just wanted to drop that down a little bit because there's still a little bit more room there, but you know, it, it, it was not that important, so I can wait till we get back to the yard. We'll see if we can get that pipe sorted out. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh well. Hopefully, they can do it for Monday morning. All right. Afternoon, boss. Hello. How's, how's it going, boss? Not bad, yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, your day going all right? Yeah, well, what's happened? Do you want the good news or do you want the bad news? Well, the truck's on this side, but the mirror's all right. That one. <laughs> it's fast asleep. It's not that bad. All right, OK. <laughs> um, good news is I'm loading on my way back. Bad news is we might not be able to get them off at the other end. Why? Blown a hydraulic hose. So which hose is it, Kev? Uh, it's one of the main hoses that feed the, um, the, you know, the big junction box behind all the main levers. Okay, all right, mate. No worries at all. So, it's, did it make a mess on the road or? Uh, no, it was just when I was loading up. It only it only sprays out when I'm operating the levers. So. Okay, all right, okay. Um, all but right, now I'll get, I'll, what time do you think you'll be back? About half past three. About three thirty. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, our last one's come up from 3.30. Alright, nice one, thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Bye, cheers, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye, bye, bye. He took that round the world, didn't he? Good boss. So, we just got back to the yard and... Pertag have literally met us here, so... They're uh, swapping our pipe over now, making our new one. And hopefully, we can get down the end there and get unloaded. So that's me parked up for the week, all unloaded. Before we go, and before we go through the most scrap car of the week that I've collected, and before we go through this week's treasure finds in all the cars, then uh, I just want to remind you, in four weeks time, Devon Truck Show, use the discount code, I was gonna say Kev T then, discount code Road Legends for your 20% off, and I really look forward to seeing you all there looking like it's going to be a fantastic weekend so make sure you get your tickets booked either the, come for the weekend it's definitely worth the weekend come for the weekend or come for like the day saturday or sunday come and see us and uh yeah it'll be a good laugh right then let's go through most scrap car that i've picked up this week so this is the first week of doing this so we haven't really there's lots of ones one of i've picked up one of everything apart from running cleos i've picked up two I've picked up two Renault Clio's and I've picked up two Citroen Picasso's. So, so far, Renault Clio's and Citroen Picasso's are the most uh, scrapped cars that I collect. Not the most scrapped cars in the UK, we're talking about the most scrapped cars that I personally pick up, all right? But we have got lots of ones. We've also got one Corsa, one Passat, one Qashqai, one Ford Focus, one Audi A4, one the Signa. There's lots of ones, but that list obviously will get shorter and we'll just do like the top five or the top ten or something you know as as we collate our list right then let's see what treasures this week it's been a bad week this week but i'll show you anyway so treasures that i found this week i found three recovery strops we know exactly what they're going to be used for they're going in the range discovery not range discovery they're going in the discovery uh, i have three scratch cards accumulating in uh about six pounds i think it is uh, some 12 volt bulbs a tape to auxiliary uh, converter thing, that, that's for the Metro, that, that's good. Uh, a circuit tester and a handful of change, about five or six quid, I think. So yeah, pretty good haul for this week, I think. Considering I thought it was bad, but it wasn't too bad. <laughs> so there we go, week done. The only thing left for me to do is to clean, tidy the cab up. Uh, it's a bit of a mess, been a busy week. Then I'm gonna do a bit of maintenance and grease up everything outside, around the back, on the decks. Uh, and then that's it, it's time for me to go home. So I hope you enjoyed it, a bit of a different format, filming through the week. Uh, if feedback's good, I'll do it again, see, see how we get on. I just want to say a massive thank you to the channel members for all your support, it's really, really appreciated. And we will be getting on with some scrap car projects very, very soon. We've got lots planned, uh, we've got lots of projects hanging around, waiting to be done, just got to try and find the time to do them. So a massive thank you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and I'll see you again in the next one.